2019, August 31. It's just about 8 o'clock. We're starting the skyline hike. This is uh, the Sputnik at the top of Otaniqua Pass. Um, to be honest, it looks more like a lunar lander. From what I understand, we're going up the hill and then to the top, walking along. I'm not exactly sure where the path goes, I haven't done this before. First turn off, pass to pass, going straight ahead to the valley. And that's Losberg over there, I believe. And then going up here. Here's another split. Five minutes past eight. Yeah, there's a nice little steep incline coming up. There's a turn off to Compass Cliff, I think. As you can see, this is the stroll in the park. It's not that tough, but uh, it's, uh, it's a little bit steeper than climbing stairs, though. Another five minutes down the path, and uh, another uphill coming. But after this, I think we should be on top. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
The wind is quite cold. Last tree. Just past half past, just to give you an idea of the going. This bit over here is fairly flat, but there's another uphill coming up. And then we should hopefully be at the top, it looks like. Judging by that rigid background, it's more or less on the same level. And there's Montague Pass. Dirt road against the mountain, I don't know if you can see it on the video. And then just above it, it's a railway road and at an equal pass and I don't think we can see crab pass from here so there are four passes running over the mountain the railway Montague Craddock pass is the old um, ox wagon trail that's marked with piles of rocks that have been painted white and then there's a technical post as well Give you an idea of scale. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, and you can start from Campus Cliff, come up, and then walk across towards the east. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, like uh, three, four months ago on this trail, yeah? Yes. And it wasn't as clear as it is now. Oh, wow. So the guys are really walking and running it up. So that must have been the trail, trail runners clearing the yes, path. Yeah, Janine and come up here in the weekdays. Yeah. yeah it's about quarter to nine, and we're still going up the hill. Andre was just saying that uh, this is a little bit steep. He thinks it's a little bit steeper than Tolberg. So Tolberg is at one on the left. And then you go across the road from the Sputnik, you go down to the, to the highway to the pass, and then just a little bit to the left, there's a path going up the hill. You go across to that big rock in the middle and then from there up to Atomico view and then across so that little climb going up the hill there. it's not quite as steep as this but I suspect this one is not as short I mean not as not as not as long as that this one's shorter so it's a steeper climb but you get there quicker <laughs> yeah, to, to get some more air, catch your breath again. It's about 10 to 9. It looks like we're coming up on the top again. This is the last stop. Uh, actually, I don't mind, but it would be good to get to the top. Here we go. Looking over. So then going down that way, we eventually get to Kramer, Campus Cliff. There's a path running down there that we can go down.
some background over there between the tree branches. And there's a green marker in the, in the tree. We've had a couple of these. It looks like this might be the path. Um, I don't quite see it actually. But coming along here, it's a green marker. I've seen a couple of these along the way. There's another one, there's another one. So this might be the way the trail runners go. vantage point <laughs> looks like the path running here as well between the rocks this is the skyline Woo! yeah Sylvia Die Uhr hat sie kommen noch? Ja. Okay. Oh wow. Was das auch mit Klimm? Ja. Amazing. So there's going to be a bit of rock scrambling. Perhaps even a bit of climbing actually. Along the way. Can I go back here? echo on the on the cliffs over there. Rock and slaf in your frustrations. Just past nine o'clock, and uh, yeah, just about an hour to get up here. And uh, we've had a break over here, just as we came to the top, and we're moving on. As you can see, the path isn't very clear. Um, I'll try to. You can go ahead if you want to. Oh, no, that's fine. I'm sweeper. I like to play sweep, sweep, sweeper. So, um, now we're going to. I'll try to get footage of where the path goes, but it's pretty much it's follow your nose, path of least resistance. Top. Doesn't look like too much of a hassle. So 
it's frost five past nine and just to give you an indication compost there and the idea is to stick to the lower levels because the ground is a little bit more level or flat than try to work your way across those boulders Here's a marker. There was the first marker that I saw. Here's another one. Here's another one. You won't be able to see it on the video. It's too well camouflaged, but there are markers like these rock piles all along the way, apparently. There's another one coming up. There's a green ribbon on the branch. There's another pile. So this seems to be the way to go. It's, if you know what to look for, it's fairly easy going. There's another little pile. Oh, down here, all right. Yeah, there's a green marker in that branch as well. Exactly. Yeah. No, I don't want to go fast. No. Yeah, look at that. There's an eagle. Or some kind of a yeah. raptor I or something. Maybe they're close or something. No, I don't. I don't want to go fast. Everybody's moving too fast. Mm -hmm. It's too beautiful. Yes. Because you know the weather changes and when it gets lighter then it affects his life. Yes. No. Yes, exactly. You can't capture it. No. Look nah. at it. I can't get enough. Just want to come up on my shop and just sit down. Yes. Just sit and, down. and breathe it in. Yeah. Assimilate. Yeah. Take it in. Yes. No. I'm going to bring a nice coffee pot. Um, oh yes. And coffee and something Yes. Sort of and make a moment of it. You yeah, make a moment of it. Yeah. Yes, exactly. <laughs> you may come with me. <laughs> I'm game. I'm with you. I'm game. Yes. I'll go, I'll go. Yeah, the wind isn't so bad here. I'm coming up on a... It's oh lovely. Oh my goodness, this is gorgeous. I still want to do the path down Comfort Group. Oh yes, on down the other the side path. going down the... Yeah. Yeah. We must do it. Down there. Go down there.
Here's another bit of marker on a rock. Very rugged terrain. There's a river running. Hello. <laughs> Nee, as, dat is een nooit al tas in een 2 liter waterbottel. Dat is dat is dat is die grootste wat ik heb gepakt. Nee, nee, nee. <laughs> Toen was ik okay, kijk voor sterk vandaag. <laughs> Here's the the swimming cap plant. Um, it looks like a 1960s swimming cap, lady swimming cap. And uh, from what I've seen, it only grows at altitude. It's not lower down on the mountains. Always from a certain level upwards. I don't know what kind of plant it is. I don't know what its ecology is. But uh, it's always from a certain altitude. And there's the the lunar lander just behind the the ridge over there. Twenty five to ten. Quarter to ten, and here's our first bit of proper rock scrambling. It's a bit of fun. I suppose you could go down the front over there as well and then up that side, but it was suggested that we take this one. Trig beacon at the top. I don't know if you can see it on the video. I don't know. Oh, okay, good. Good, good. Looks like there's a path across the across the top over here which we missed. So yes, it looks like we're going to do a little bit more scrambling at least towards the end there. So that's the Montague Pass, the dirt road coming up meets the railway tracks 
where it gets close to the railway tracks and then it goes across to the back of the mountain and that's the first little bend there a little S-bend it's a path going up and then across the rocks through the neck going back down and that's going back down there that's the the Craddock Pass, the Oxwagon Trail um, that was that was the first hike I did um, in a group like this we did the pass to pass went across through the valleys over here and then up there and then down the Oxwagon Trail down to the quarry over there past the quarry to Witfontein to the Cape Nature offices down there between the, just next to the pine plantations now, that was a 17 kilometer hike Yeah, it looks going to the left is going to be easier. Day. Yes, it has. We've got clear skies, we can see forever. About five to ten. I was just uh, suddenly quite impressed by that slope in the shadows down there. It's quite imposing, almost intimidating. Sort of a, a latent power locked into that just a gentle reminder not to mess with nature down on that level it's going to be easier going across the top we have to climb down
still going on to uh, quarter past ten. And, uh, still going down a bit. Seems to be easier going over there. There's another little rock pile. But could have bust in. Just taking some footage of keeping track of the trail. Because there isn't really a clear path. Generally take the path of least, resi least resistance. Going on to 20 past 10, and uh, here's another rock pile. It looks like the path generally goes on the northern side of the knife edge. Right on top, it's a little bit too jagged. I think I can hear water running down there. Sounds like it's coming from that side. Just past 20 past 10 and looks like here's a bit of scrambling. That's the way to go. Going on to twenty five post in. Views. Usually we think about views as looking 
down and out. Just post 25 post 10 and there are three intrepid hikers going to do a bit of climbing. Um, we're not quite sure where the path goes. Nothing is clear. I don't see any markers. And the other half of our group, the other part of our group is going hopefully along an easier route. I wouldn't mind doing that myself, but uh, let's follow the leaders. Max, I saw your step. Marina, can you open club? Yeah. Oh, that looks okay. Looks like there's a path around the corner over there. It's about half past ten. Here's a marker. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. I don't This is. Tricky. A little bit tricky. You should not make them wear. Yeah. Yes. Off is knee. Off is knee. And this. Ah. Then can I see? No, I see quite off. But they can see me. I. I will say. I will say yes, yeah, but it looks rough. If you don't have to go to the other side, you'll have to go to the other side. I'm going to go to the other side. Here is a marker. Here is a marker. Easy path to this point. Okay, it's about twenty to ten. Yeah, small. Let's peep peep and all this. All this peep peep. So I can only do when I can video key them to see where the path leads. So that as I get into the comms, he will stop, but I can see why I'm too late. You have to lose with you after 10 minutes and you stay on the road. I'm trying. Yeah. Alright. That's a nice little grip down there. Around the corner.
Like uh, climbing rocks, man. Woo! Is that necessarily the best way though? I'm going to try to see what's over there. If Lots of handholds and footholds. Just maintain safe points of contact at all times. And you should be fine. I think this is this is an easier climb than up that little ravine over there. Up the little crack. Yes, I've got it. This is this is the way to go. If you want to come, there's a path up here. Previously, or down there, perhaps. I don't know. That must have been down there. And then going up here. Because that doesn't look like the way to go. Just make sure that you've got a grip. That. Lean in. Grip. Three points of contact. Go. This is the best bit of best bit of scrambling I've done in ever. Yes, got it. Yeah, come this way. Mark, come okay. This way. Excellent. This is even better than that little bit of scrambling behind Craddock Peak. Going down is even trickier because then everything's back to front and in reverse. Woo! Awesome! There's the trick beacon.
would this be a path? I mean, this is a path down now. Yeah. It might be, it might get easier. We can really find the way down. Yep. It's much deeper. I don't know. I don't know. Down there. Yeah, but you remember it was high and it was quite smooth. Yes. That's the problem, you see. You can't yes. see it about the Yeah. I don't think. Okay, let's go. I don't think that's it. We're lucky. Yeah. yeah. Quarter to eleven, and this is the spot I've chosen for a bit of a snack. on the leeway side of the mountain, out of the wind. <laughs> nice bit of sun shining down. Hey! Mm. <laughs> this is the life. <laughs> Most of what Elmer was comfortable with, melting you now. <laughs> yeah. Elmer's got the lazy boy in upright position, I've got it in kickback position. Hey, you kicked it out, pulled the... <laughs> pulled the lever. Hello. It's my character because they did work this way. Subiki, yeah. It's not going to be able to do it, but it's not going to be able to do it. Yeah, I don't know if it's not going to be able to do it. Het is niet voor mij zo erg nu. Ik denk omdat er genoeg vaste plek is. Mm. Als er niet vaste plek is nie, mm. en het glad is, dan raak ik. Jittery. Ja. Um. Verzichtig. Ja. Ah, oh, want je ziet het er wel aan. Ah, oh, want je ziet het er vast aan. Het lijkt maar spel hier op. Hmm. I think I can buy a long piece of sit in the rest. Yeah. Mom, the, those gaiters that you're wearing, mm -hmm. just a question, because I see they've got little straps or loops that come around the bottom mm -hmm. of the shoe. Do those never get like worn away or...? No. It would be these sort of rivets that pop out. Okay. Or, um, I don't know, the velcro that tears loose or something like that, but these things are quite hardy. The buckle might go as well, but the strap itself lasts pretty much forever. This is my... Let's call it my, my second and a half pair. Because I've had one before and one of the straps, one of the rivets got loose. And then I bought two. Um, one is a backup, so I've been wearing this one and it's still fine, it's pretty much as good as new, well, almost. It's got a couple of scratches, but otherwise it's fine. Nice and warm, yeah, so I'm mm -hmm. in your sun.
This is how I like my mountains, high and quiet. Het is zo. Maar dat is anders te gemoer is wat je niet. Remoer is wat je niet staat. Ja, ik zie moest echt drinken dit absoluut aan. And that looks like the Longcliffe Road. Is dit wat nummer mis? Wat is zijn nummer? Wat nummer mis hier bij ons is? Naamloos. En hij is ook naamloos nummer twee. Ik heb gewoon een schierde. Schierde. Oké, daar is het in. Hier is een wat ons op zit. Schierde. Maar ik hoor iets daar wel niet van. Ik zou amper zeggen dat pas beter om te zeggen Skurweberg, maar Skurweberg is aan die ene weer.
So it's five past eleven. We're heading back, but apparently uh, we've discovered another route down, which might be a little bit easier. And next time, easier to come up. It's about going on to quarter past 11. There's the beacon where we had our break and we're sort of in two minds as to whether this is actually the way forward or not. We're going to go to the other peak and try to find a path down there. And the trick is to lean in. Three points of contact. Not quite sure what we're going to find down there. I agree, it would be quicker down that way. feel too comfortable with this. It doesn't look like it's really going to get us where we want to be. And not in a safer manner. I don't mind the extra length if it uh, mitigates risk. Yeah. But if it doesn't mitigate risk. <laughs> okay. At the moment it's still fine.
Ja. Okay. The other thing is, the other three people are waiting for us back there. So, yeah, but won't we be there quicker to let them know what you're doing so that we can wait for you so that they don't walk off? Okay. We, we don't want to split, but. Ons gaan vir hulle sê om vir julle te wacht, dis reg. Ok, I'm going to turn around and go back. You're coming with me? Okay. Right? Ok, I'll come with three is always better. Ok, three is good. Ok. Ok, Elmer, uh, ons drie gaan terug. Elmer, okay. ons gaan terug. Ok, ons kry julle daar aan die kant. Ja, yeah. <laughs> yeah, goed so. There and then around. I think. Uh, no, down here. Yeah. And then zigzag down that way, yeah. Ready, Buddha sits at Sue. Back to front and in reverse. Yeah. I'm just glad for all the handholds. Yeah. Makes it really a lot easier. Yep, you're there. Yeah, these short little legs of mine. Short little legs of mine. I'm gonna let them shine.
Right, got it. There we go. Stick your fingers in the crevice if you have to. It's a good grip. And why didn't I see this step? <laughs> this thing about mountain climbing and how everyone is used to climbing normal floor climb yeah and then this one very experienced climber who wanted to go do one where you have to hold like this oh yes and he says it was completely it was like learning to climb from beginning and yes. endurance the muscles were completely different because you you're working different muscles there yeah okay this isn't quite the way i came up but no, it isn't. it's fine it's much better than the way it's thus far just see this stretch looks a little bit different but there are lots of handhold spots yes exactly uh, just waiting for Janine and then I'm gonna drop my stick And there we go, lean in. I'm just checking what, what you're using. Yeah. Okay, that was, that, that's a good one over there. You can't see it from where I am at the moment. Hang your fingers over there. This is a good one over here. Then go, lean back. And, oh, sorry about that. No problem. Um, trying to turn around here. That's a good one there. Hang up. back keep your arms straight okay. all muscles get tired when you when you sort of clamp up so hang on your arms rather but I might be preaching to the choir yeah that one's that one. no that way We're pretty much on level already. Here we are. Where's Russ? Are they up? Okay. Because I want to take a look around. I want to go see if they're alright as well. Uh, I don't mind. I'm easy. I'll go with you guys. You can go with us and tell them. Okay, yeah, tell them to wait. Yeah. It's about 20 to 12, and uh, we're trying to find the other group that took the other path. I don't see them yet. Oh my, look at how lucky it is. Oh. Yeah. I hope they don't go too far down. Like over there, and then I have really? to come back up again. I, no, I, I don't see them. I don't see them. What I'm saying, I hope they don't go too far down. Exactly, yes. So let's see if we can get them away to them. So they know where to go. Yeah.
No. I'm going to shout. No, please. Dogs barking down there. The sun might be carrying over the mountain, and they're behind it, and they can't hear us. I think you and I wait here. Wait here. Yeah, it's quarter to twelve, and we've just spotted our, our other group up there. Oh, there are five them that are gone. Yeah, gone behind. There's Johan. Okay, so they're probably going to go back again and then we'll catch them when they come down on the other side. There's a... Nah, nah, noch an! Noch an! Noch an! About five to twelve, and our group is returning. We're going to guide them down from the bottom. Yes, and I zigzag even the other half.